Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quarterfinals, where the questions get harder and the distinctions more subtle. So, for example, at this stage, the teams would understand that whereas I, as the host, am completely disinterested, it's you, the viewers, who are bored. Let's meet those surviving teams. On my right, Jack Johannes Alexander, a math student who plays four instruments and is learning a further two. Joe Crowther, a maths and philosophy student who is named after a character in a Kafka novel and plays the theremin. And their captain, Alistair Middleton, a third maths student and keen rugby player who attended the investiture of the High Sheriff of Carlisle. United by a yearning for all things Jorvik, they are the Yorkers. You won both your heats to reach the quarterfinal. How are you feeling about tonight's opposition? Um, well, we've heard they're uh, uh, a pretty good side, but we're hoping that our uh, clinical Barca style of play should, should see us through. Your clinical what style of play? Barca style of play. I'm glad that's what you said. <laughs> Good luck. That opposition is on my left. Paul Allen, a civil servant and Manchester United fan who recently wandered into a drinks reception with the Russian ambassador and several minor royals. Alex Hill, a maths graduate who used to work for the UN and once helped Dame Shirley Williams off a train. And their captain, Claire Lynch, a civil servant and analyst who had lunch in a men's prison on Friday. United by the appliance of science, they are the operational researchers. Claire, you've had a slightly less straightforward route to this quarterfinal. You lost to the Clue Smiths, you beat the Polyglots and then beat the Spaghetti Westerners. Which was your favourite game? I think it was definitely the game against the Polyglots because we, we beat the wall, which is what we wanted to do. How are you feeling about tonight's lineup? Um, well, yeah, they, they've won two games, so, you know, we're just pleased to be here. Well, you started well, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, could we have the horned viper, please? Yes, you could. I simply want to know what is the connection between these clues. Here's the first. Uh, next. Next, please. Fronts. They can all precede the word front. Rebecca Front, the comedy actor, broadcaster and writer, Cold Front, Western Front, obviously. Where do we meet the Judean people's front? Oh, that's in The Life of Brian. That's right. They're a splinter faction in Monty Python's The Life of Brian. So a point to you, Yorkers, your turn to choose. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. Ah, the music question. You look pleased. Mm. <laughs> Not fans of the music question? We've had it every single time so far. So far. Yeah. Perhaps it's good luck, you've won every game. Yeah. yeah maybe. All right, what is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. Three seconds. Uh, were they all uh, covered by... No. Uh, do they all have more successful cover versions? They do not all have more successful cover versions, so it's a bonus opportunity for the operational researchers. Older women. Mm -hmm. it's not, um, were they all covered... Were they all covered by Johnny Cash? <laughs> Uh, no, they weren't. The last one was covered by I Johnny Cash. The, the first one, Maggie May, you couldn't have a better version of that, surely, than the original by... Rod Stewart. OK, and the original of the Johnny Cash one that we heard was... Or Nine Inch, Nine Inch Nails. Nails. Yes, and we also heard from the Human League, Miles Davis. It's units of length. Oh. Rod League, Mile Inch, units of length in the performers' names. Rod Stewart, Human League, Miles Davis. Nine Inch Nails, that's what we wanted. So you don't get a bonus, researchers, but you do get a question. Which um, one? Can we have the lion, please? You certainly can. What is the connection between these clues? 
Here's the first. Next. It sounds like yeah. one. I think we need the next one, don't we? Yeah, it looks like I think we need the next one. And next? I don't know who Guy Little is. Next, please. Seconds. Really not. Um, died of something. <laughs> no, sorry. Nothing at all. Yorkers. Do you want to have a go? Mm. Um. They all received the Iron Cross. They did not all receive the Iron Cross. Now that last one should really be the giveaway clue. John Cairncross was a member of MI6, prime suspect for being the fifth man in the Cambridge spy ring, but all these people have been accused of that. Ludwig Wittgenstein, uh, the philosopher, he was accused of being the fifth man. ASF Gao, he was Orwell's tutor at Eton, and it was actually Brian Sewell, the art critic, who said he was the fifth man. Guy Liddell, Deputy Director General of MI5, all alleged fifth men, and John Cairncross, the top suspect. Now I say it, does the name Cairncross ring a bell? Oh, I, thought, I thought Roger uh, Hollis was the main fifth man suspect. Cairn Cross is the one they say now. But the fact yeah. is, if his name means nothing to you, <laughs> how successful. <laughs> Yorkers, which question would you like? Uh, Eye of Horus. Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Next. Uh, next. Uh, next. Steve Jones. Are they all Steve Jones? They are all Steve Jones. What can you tell me about the various Steve Joneses? Well, the Sex Pistols guitarist was called Steve Jones. Yeah. The host of 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show was called Steve Jones. Yes, which one? The hot what, Welsh ex-model Steve Jones. Uh, uh, He's the host of uh, Leaving a Game Show. What uh, is the title of geneticist and curiosities Captain Steve Jones? Dr. Professor Steve Jones. Steve Jones. Professor, Professor Steve, Steve Jones, Jones, the curiosities. They were a great team in an Only yeah, Connect uh, charity right, special. Yeah. Ah, yes. Professor Steve Jones was a captain. And, of course, the Welsh athlete Steve Jones broke the record. The marathon. Aye. All Steve Joneses. Well done for a point. And back to you, operational researchers for a choice. Uh, the water, please. Water. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Is no, is this the countries in um, 1984? No, it's not. OK. Uh, next. USA. Uh, next. Oh, that can... Um, they're bridges that connect these countries. That's absolutely right. It's the names of bridges that connect the two countries shown after the colon. Well done. Last question of the round for you then, Yorkers. The twisted flax. I expect these are going to be pictures because we haven't seen any. What links them? Here's the first. Uh, next. Uh, next. Next. It's a bit. That's a blue piece of paper, isn't it? Is that what it's called? Three seconds. Um, do they all share names with wives of Henry VIII? <laughs> no, they don't. But it's a nice guess. Researchers, do you want to go for a bonus point? Do they all share names with characters from The Simpsons? 
Uh, no, they don't do that either. Yes, I'm afraid, as threatened at the quarter-final stage, the difficulty ramps up a bit. Nobody got this one. They all have different coloured eyes. The actress Jane Seymour, Kate Bosworth as well, Michael Flatley, the dancer, and Mabel, may she rest in peace, the Blue Peter dog, all different coloured eyes. Who might you expect David to Bowie. see? David Bowie. But why wouldn't you see him? Because he actually doesn't have different coloured eyes. No, both his eyes are blue, but one of the pupils is permanently dilated <laughs> after a fight. Yeah, exactly so. Down. Doesn't have different coloured eyes, but these people slash creatures all do. At the end of round one, the Yorkers have one point, the operational researchers have two. What the hell, let's make it more difficult again with a sequences <laughs> round. This time I want to know what comes forth in a sequence. Researchers, you have the dubious honour of going first again. Um, can we have the Eye of Horus, please? Absolutely. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. The first thing said... Um, next. Is it the first? Is it the first programs on those channels? I don't know. The BBC rather than BBC. At next. Yes, yes I, I think, think so. Can do it. Is it countdown channel four? That is the right answer. You could have come in after two yeah. clues there. As I heard you saying, they are the first programmes on the first four channels in chronological order. Yes, Play School wasn't supposed to be the first programme on BBC Two, but they had technical difficulties <laughs> on the first day they went to broadcast, so they just picked it up the next day, which happened to have Play School on in the morning. And yes, Countdown, the quiz show, was the first ever on Channel Four. Well done. Yorkers, what would you like? Uh, lion. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Next. seconds. Two S-O. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Researchers, do you know? Um, two C-O. No, now it isn't a two at all. <laughs> These are printer's codes for paper sizes. I want to hear F-O for folio, which is just a piece of paper folded once. And if you fold it again, you get quarto. That's clue three in this sequence, but we're going backwards, so we've got we're starting at 16 mo for sexto decimo, then we go octavo, quarto, folio, and the paper is, as it were, being folded fewer times as so we go along the sequence. Folio is the answer, denoted by FO. Researchers, what would you like? Um, can you have the horn of viper, please? Absolutely. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Robert. Yeah. OK. Uh, next. Something beginning with D, a, uh, a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Not the answer, I'm afraid. So, Yorgos, would you like to have a go for a bonus point? A druid. A druid is exactly what we went for ourselves. I'd also have taken Ken Dodd, David, various things. Why is it druid and not dog? Uh, because it's beginning and ending with consecutive letters. That's what it is. We're looking at Alberta, then the Baobab tree and the Cadillac. Topped and tailed by A's, B's, C's and A's, something that starts and stops with a D, for example, Druid. Well done, Yorkers, you get a bonus point and a question. Which is it to be? Uh, water, please. Water. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Maybe. Uh, 
next. What's this? Some of Japanese thing. Next. Is it Rivers? I don't realize what would be like. So, Euphrates, Euphrates maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Euphrates? Is the right answer. You seem unsure. Why do you think it might be Euphrates? Well, we think there might be rivers in uh, a particular area. area or country uh, getting longer. Is it? Ah, you see, that's not the sequence, so you're lucky to guess that. Is rivers with their origin in paradise in a biblical order? So in the book of Genesis, these rivers are all named, and Genesis spells out the name of the first of the rivers that uh, start in paradise is Pison. That is, which compasseth the whole land of Havila. The name of the second river is Gion, that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. The name of the third river is Hidekel, and the fourth is Euphrates. So, according to the Bible, they have their origins in paradise in that order. So, wrong reasoning, but right guess, Euphrates gets you the points. Operational researchers, what would you like? Uh, can we have a twist of flax, please? Certainly you could. What would be fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. I'm out of this American president, so I'm not going to think. And I'm Coolidge to cover. So do we want next to see which ones that died? Yeah. Uh, next. Roosevelt, Roosevelt died. So, um... Well, they're ones who didn't complete their term, right? So, um, JFK, Johnson, Nixon, Ford. So, Nixon, Nixon, Nixon Arrow, Ford. Yeah. Uh, Nixon, Arrow, Ford. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. It is Nixon Arrow Ford. Do you know why that is, Paul? Um, they are American presidents who didn't complete their term, um, so they were succeeded by their vice president. That's exactly right. The second name is the vice president who became president during the term of the first. And uh, what were the reasons? Harding and Roosevelt died, um, JFK was assassinated, and Nixon... Um, got into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. Deaths, assassinations and resignations are the reasons vice presidents becoming president and next will be Nixon Ford. Well done. OK, Yorkers, that leaves only the two reads for you. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next. Is the right answer, and why? It's Irish prime ministers going up to the most recent one. Heads of the Irish government, more commonly known as Taoiseach. Tishi. That's the plural of Tishi. Tishi. What are the names of these Tishi? If you well, spelt that in full, it's Bertie Ahern. Uh, is the only one I can actually remember. Ender Kenny is the current one. I can't remember either of the other two. John Bruton. Succeeded by Bertie Ahern, then Brian Cowan, right, followed yeah. by Ender Kenny, who is the t shirt at time of recording. Well done. So at the end of round two, the Yorkers have six points, the operational researchers have seven. Time for the connecting wall now, and Yorkers, it's your turn to go first, so would you like lion or water? Uh, water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting now. Uh, Transformers. Shunt, 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 rear end, blow yeah, out. Oh, yes. Probe or aqua plate? Yeah. Um, Artists, you see? No. Reaper. No. What is a collective pen? That sounds like something matty that we should know. It, it does, doesn't it? Um, jumper, classic. Jumper, cable, coaxial pair, cable. Bus bar, cable. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not another one, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, grip... Uh, I can't stop seeing like, word ones. No, no, I know, it's the same problem. Right? Ends in lock, ends in rand. Oh, what? Well, you think it might be... What? Oh, no, because lock's got the end, isn't it? Oops. What, isn't the author? Oh. Uh... What? Represent... Do you think that could be cable? Oh, 
could be. I have heard of any other time. I wonder if it might be something that goes before, because probe usually like follows with it rather than um, sort of space probe or something. about the connections. The first blue group starting Bumblebee. Uh, they're all Transformers. Are they, they specifically are. Autobots? They are Autobots in Transformers, quite right. And the next green group starting Blowout. They're all sort of accidents you can have in a car. All vehicular mishaps. And what about the purple group? Jumper, probe, bus bar, coaxial pair. Are they kinds of cable? You're in the right universe, but they're not the... all kinds of cable. Tell me one other thing. Cable things that leads, start. Start start I can't the take it, I'm afraid. Not for a place in the semi-final. Yeah. They're not all cables, they are all electrical conductors. Uh, You've right. got some cables in there, but electrical conductors is what I wanted to hear. And the light blue group, rebrand, Grimlock, OK and Seidel. They all end in comedians. Yes, they do. Russell or Joe Brand oh. at the end of a rebrand. Oh. Sean Locke, Peter Kay, Eric Idle, comedians hiding at the end there. Well spotted. So that is four points for the groups you found, three for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's bring back the operational researchers, give them an equally fiendish quarterfinal wall and see if they can solve it. It'll be the lion wall for you, because water's been taken. Two and a half minutes, of course, starting now. Yes, Rofsky, Tiffany. Rofsky. Um, um, Lalik. Yeah, Lalik is, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Golden bridges. Gate Bridge, Rialto Bridge. Um, um, there's Venice things as well, so there's Lido, Rialto, Murano. That looks like it could be. No. Or that. Okay. Um, what's Easy Cruise 1? Turtle, Basketball, Lucas Aid. Atomic kitten. <laughs> um, should we try? Should we try bridges again? Yeah. Uh, is that, that could be a bridge. It's, or? it's got bridge in it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Should we well, try Venice what, things? Yeah. Those three are Venice. <laughs> Venice kitten. Uh, for van. So easy cruise one. What could it be? Okay. Um, BCO. BB. Kitten. Kitten. Ten. Oh, kitten's got ten in it. Have any of us got numbers in? One. <laughs> No, um, it can't be. Um, uh, I do. Oh, that's got Alto in it. Alto, um, Okay, what's the word then? What, should we try the ones that look like they don't fit with anything else? That's um, um, yeah, that's that. Nice. Okay. So, <laughs> so basketball's red. Right. Golden Gate Bridge is right. Um, Bond bug. I don't, have they got? Have we in the words? Scimitar stuff that goes. Lucas yeah. Aid Sport. Um, basketball Diaries. Basketball. Um, Thirty seconds. It's not, uh, it's not, no, it's, it's not spelled that way, is it? The current. Okay, it was. Should we? I think we should maybe try guessing. So yeah, no, 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 we've done those two, so maybe that. Yeah. Two goes and ten seconds. Oh. oh, that's it. That's your three strikes. The wall has frozen, but you found two groups. Not easy on that wall. And I'll give you points for the connections. What about the first dark blue group? They're kind of jewellers. Um, sort of, well, sort of Tiffany make. They make jewel. glassware as well. The Swarovski and Lalique oh, make yeah, kind glassware, of glassware. Yeah. Decorative jewelled glassware, that's right, manufacturers of that. And the second green group, what can you tell me about that one? Are they all Venice related? Are they all placed in Venice? Yes, they are. Can you be any more specific? Um, within the lagoon. <laughs> yeah, they're islands of Venice, that's absolutely right. It is a lagoon, quite right. Yeah. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. The purple group starting scimitar. If you don't know, no, you won't no, work it out. No, no. They're reliant cars. 
okay. Yes, Reliant Scimitar, Reliant Kitten and so on, they're Reliant cars. Mm -hmm. And the light blue group starting Lucas Aid. They're all orange colour. They're all orange. I mean, that yeah. is the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> Lucas oh, Aid. Easy, easy Cruise 1 yeah. is like the easy jet type of thing, the Golden yeah. Gate Bridge. Basketballs, they used to be brown, but in the 50s it was changed mm. to orange for sort of visibility reasons. So, two points for the groups you found and three for the connections. That's a total of five. Let's have a look at the scores. The operational researchers have 12 points, the Yorkers have 13. So a close run thing for the semi-final place. It will be decided in the missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers teams. Be careful. Good luck. The first group are all sports people who became politicians. Researchers. Sebastian Coe. Correct. Researchers. Imran Khan. Correct. Yorkers. Vitaly Klitschko. Correct. Yorkers. Jesse Ventura. Yes, it is. Next category, transposed country names like Britain Great. Yorkers. Zealand U. Correct. Yorkers. Salvador L. Yes, it is. Researchers? Arabia Saudi. Well spotted. Researchers? Lanka Sri. Yes, it is. Next category, ballets that premiered in the 1910s. Yorkers? The Firebird. Correct. Don't know this one. It's the three-cornered hat. Next clue. Not ballet fans, this one's Daphnis and Chloe. Next clue. Yorkers? The right of three. Of course. Next category, British universities. Yorkers? Edinburgh Napier. Yes, it is. No more universities for that is the end of the quiz. And after a tough round four, finishing with 20 points and through to the semi-finals are the Yorkers. Very well done to you. In second place with 16 points, it's the operational researchers. Sorry, guys, you've had lots of games and an up and down journey, but you've been great. Some really good quizzing. Thank you. Sorry Thank to you. see you go home. So that's it for this week. But if you're itching for more connections, don't forget the Only Connect cookery book is now out, <laughs> full of all sorts of linking recipes that confound the traditional divisions between courses. If you haven't tried the prawn bolty brulee, you haven't lived. Then again, if you have, you've probably died. <laughs> Goodbye. Welcome to Only Connect, the quarterfinals, where the questions get harder and the distinctions more subtle. So, for example, at this stage, the teams would understand that whereas I, as the host, am completely disinterested, it's you, the viewers, who are bored. Let's meet those surviving teams. On my right, Jack Johannes Alexander, a math student who plays four instruments and is learning a further two. Joe Crowther a maths and philosophy student who is named after a character in a Kafka novel and plays the theremin, and their captain, Alistair Middleton, a third maths student and keen rugby player who attended the investiture of the High Sheriff of Carlisle. United by a yearning for all things Yorvik, they are the Yorkers. You won both your heats to reach the quarter-final. How are you feeling about tonight's opposition? Um, well, we've heard their... Uh... Uh, a pretty good side, but we're hoping that our uh, clinical Barca style of play should should see us through. Your clinical what style of play? Barca style of play. I'm glad that's what you said. 
Good luck. That opposition is on my left. Paul Allen, a civil servant and Manchester United fan who recently wandered into a drinks reception with the Russian ambassador and several minor royals. Alex Hill, a maths graduate who used to work for the UN and once helped Dame Shirley Williams off a train. And their captain, Claire Lynch, a civil servant and analyst who had lunch in a men's prison on Friday. United by the appliance of science, they are the operational researchers. Claire, you've had a slightly less straightforward route to this quarterfinal. You lost to the Clue Smiths, you beat the Polyglots and then beat the Spaghetti Westerners. Which was your favourite game? I think it was definitely the game against the Polyglots because we, we beat the wall, which is what we wanted to do. How are you feeling about tonight's lineup? Um, well, yeah, they, they've won two games, so, you know, we're just pleased to be here. Well, you started well, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Um, could we have the Horned Viper, please? Yes, you could. I simply want to know what is the connection between these clues. Here's the first. Uh, next. Next, please. Fronts. They can all precede the word front. Rebecca Front, the comedy actor, broadcaster and writer, Cold Front, Western Front, obviously. Where do we meet the Judean people's front? Uh, that's in The Life of Brian. That's right. They're a splinter faction in Monty Python's The Life of Brian. So a point to you, Yorkers, your turn to choose. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. Ah, the music question. You look pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Not fans of the music question? We've had it every single That's time so, so far. far. Yeah. Perhaps it's good luck. You've won every game. Yeah. yeah maybe. All right. What is the connection between these musical clues? Here's the first. Wake up, Maggie, I think I got Next. Next. That's it. This is not a trial. What's the Three seconds. Uh, were they all uh, covered by. No. Uh, do they all have more successful cover versions? They do not all have more successful cover versions, so it's a bonus opportunity for the operational researchers. All the women. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um, well, they all covered. <laughs> Well, they were covered by Johnny Cash. <laughs> uh, no, they weren't. The last one was covered by I Johnny Cash. The, the first it. one, Maggie May. You couldn't have a better version of that, surely, than the original by... Rod Stewart. OK, and the original of the Johnny Cash one that we heard was... Or Nine Inch, Nine Inch Nails. Nails. Yes, and we also heard from the Human League, Miles Davis. It's units of length. Oh. Rod, League, Mile, Inch, units of length in the performers' names. Rod Stewart, Human League, Miles Davis, Nine Inch Nails, that's what we wanted. So you don't get a bonus researchers, but you do get a question. Which um, one? Can we have the lion, please? You certainly can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. It sounds like yeah. I think we need the next one, don't we? Yeah. I think we need the next one. And next? Got a little. I don't know. Got a little. It's got to be something. Next, please. Um, Three seconds. Really not. Um, died of something. <laughs> No, sorry. Nothing at all? Yorkers, do you want to have a go? Um, they all received the Iron Cross. They did not all receive the Iron Cross. Now, that last one should really be the giveaway clue. John Cairncross was a member of MI6, 
prime suspect for being the fifth man in the Cambridge spy ring, but all these people have been accused of that. Ludwig Wittgenstein, uh, the philosopher, he was accused of being the fifth man. ASF Gao, he was Orwell's tutor at Eton, and it was actually Brian Sewell, the art critic, who said he was the fifth man. Guy Liddell, Deputy Director General of MI5, all alleged fifth men, and John Cairncross, the top suspect. Now I say it, does the name Cairncross ring a bell? Oh, oh, no. I thought, thought Roger <laughs> Hollis was the main fifth man suspect. Cairncross is the one they say now, but the fact yeah. is, if his name means nothing to you, <laughs> How successful. <laughs> Yorkers, which question would you like? Uh, Eye of Horus. Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Yeah. Uh, next. Uh, next. Oh, they're all Steve Jones. Jones. Are they all Steve Jones? They are all Steve Jones. What can you tell me about the various Steve Joneses? Well, the Sex Pistols guitarist was called Steve Jones. Yeah. The host of 101 Ways to Leave a Game Show was called Steve Jones. Yes, which one? The hot what, which... Welsh ex-model Steve Jones. Uh, He's the host of uh, Leaving a Game Show. What uh, is the title of geneticist and curiosities captain Steve Jones? Dr. Steve Jones. Steve Jones. Professor, Professor Steve, Steve Jones, Jones, the Curiosities, they were a great team in an Only yeah, Connect charity right, special. Yeah. Ah, yes. Professor Steve Jones was a captain. And of course, the Welsh athlete Steve Jones broke the record. The marathon. Ah, yeah. All Steve Joneses. Well done for a point. And back to you, operational researchers for a choice. Ah, uh, the water, please. Water. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. 